Hi, everyone, and welcome to Adventures in Security, Episode 6, Critical Systems. In this video, we look at how to secure critical infrastructure. We define critical infrastructure beyond just energy and water facilities. PCI DSS systems, patient health delivery systems such as operating room equipment, and systems on the manufacturing floor also fall into our critical infrastructure category. Also in this category are control systems used by your vendors to manage HVAC and other facility management services. Most organizations have not taken appropriate steps to isolate and protect these systems, including segmentation, protection, and detection controls. This graphic displays a flat network with both administrative and critical infrastructures on the same network. No separation exists between critical systems and admin systems. Information flows to and from critical systems with little or no control. Finally, users of critical systems have access to the internet and remote attackers can potentially see these systems during scanning and enumeration steps. Regardless of what else this organization does, segmentation must occur. Here we see a segmented network. A layer three core switch separates the admin, highlighted in yellow, and critical systems, highlighted in red, into two VLANs. A VLAN access control list prevents traffic from flowing to the critical systems from the admin VLAN. The critical systems have no access to the internet. And again, we are blocking all traffic that goes from, from the admin systems to the control systems. Internet access is one of the best ways to infect user systems, a big target in today's attacks. No critical system user should be able to use the internet, period. All information created on critical system VLAN are pushed to the appropriate admin, pushed, or business management systems. The business management systems are not allowed to pull data from those systems. No traffic is allowed to pass from the admin network to the control system network. Air gaps are sometimes used to achieve this separation, but air gaps aren't appropriate in most cases. For example, PCI DSS or manufacturing systems must report information to admin systems. This requires movement of large amounts of information. Use of mobile storage for this is, as we see next, a security issue all by itself. As always, security must be applied to harden the critical systems. This graphic, which is part of the physical aspects of system hardening, and the next set of logical layers also apply to admin systems. Again, endpoint systems are primary targets today, and we can never rely on user security training alone to keep the bad guys out. Under no circumstances should we allow the use of mobile storage on our critical systems. This includes shutting down the use of CD DVD drives. This is possible via GPO settings and the use of third-party security apps. Consequently, shutting these down for normal users will not interfere with system management. Shutting down mobile storage prevents users from plugging in infected devices and helps control insider threats. Now let's look at logical and administrative controls. Again, we start with disabling mobile storage use. We also block users from installing or running unapproved applications. This is easily done on Windows systems by using AppLocker or setting up software restriction policies in GPOs. Whenever possible, however, use AppLocker. Software restriction policies configured as a GPO have one or two weaknesses not shared by AppLocker. In addition, allow no one to operate critical systems with unrestricted user accounts. Enforcement of least privilege is always important. This is enforceable with authentication and authorization processes. AppLocker can also be applied by user or group to reach for role-based access control. 
Finally, the old standbys of anti-malware, firewall, and host-based IPS fill the remaining prevention gaps. They also begin the threat analysis process. Threat analysis involves log aggregation and correlation. It requires us to look for the inevitable breach and manage it quickly. And of course, patch, 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 and patch. And that's it for this episode. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. And also visit v-cso.com to contact us for employee security training and other virtual security officer services. And be careful what you click.